Austin Town's Emily Orlasky is now 12 years old. It's been two years since she was diagnosed with cancer. The treatments made her miss most of fourth and fifth grade. She was keeping up with her schoolwork, except for math, and that's when Fitch senior Natalie Lynn was asked to help. This afternoon, I sat down with Emily, Natalie, and Emily's mother to talk about what has become a special relationship. The kitchen table of the Orlasky family's Austin Town home was this afternoon, like it was 30 times this past summer, turned into a math table. 17, all right, and 29? Mm-hmm. Okay. Natalie Lynn, an Austin Town Fitch senior, was tutoring Emily Orlasky, a sixth grader recovering from kidney cancer. I sat and watched as they did multiplication and division. Remember the trick I taught you? She's a very quick learner and she picks up things very quickly, but with the math, um, the way that they do it, I, it's, it's hard to catch up on that unless you have someone teaching you. So what happens when you take a two out of 42? Two years ago, Emily Orlasky was diagnosed with kidney cancer. There are pictures of her without hair scattered across the house. Emily basically missed two years of school. That's when Natalie, volleyball player, basketball player, and honors student, was asked to help. I was far behind enough to not learn the multiplication method that they use now. I honestly didn't really remember how to divide, so I was at home practicing how to divide again. And Natalie's demeanor really helped Emily. It just, you know, it was non-threatening. You know, she's not used to having that teacher relationship for the past two years, so it took a little bit of pressure off for her and it made it more fun. At the last Austin Town School Board meeting, Natalie was honored for the work that she has done with Emily. <laughs> Emily, she's cancer free, and on her last report card made the honor roll with a B in math. Well, Tat, man, Natalie told me she was a little bit hesitant when she was asked to tutor Emily. Not because she didn't want to, but she's really bu busy. But from what I saw today, I think everyone involved thought that it was a good thing that she said yes. I had a smile on my face the whole time I watched it that. Is. It, was, it was fun to watch those two of them together. Yeah. I mean, uh, Emily's so small and Natalie's a senior, so a little bit bigger. But they kind of just meshed together the whole time I was telling. It was one of those things that was meant to be. Yeah, what a, yeah. What a great relationship. It was really cool.